Welcome back to Street Fighter Cross Mega Man, and welcome to the finale, where we'll be taking on the Shadowloo bosses. Yep, and we're in Casino Night Zone! Yes! And already we're at the boss. However, this is actually different from what you would expect. Balrog will kill you in one hit if he touches you. So what you gotta do is, you gotta keep running. Honestly, I haven't seen this idea in a Mega Man game before, and for that, I think kudos to the creator for coming up with something different in a game series that has, what, 12 titles now? I know. Yeah, it's kind of strange. You got strange. 1 through 10, and then you got Mega Man and base. And then you got 9 and 10. It's a lot. There's a lot of yeah. games. But yeah, this game has a lot of uh, interesting ideas, I have to admit. And I mean, again, it kind of makes me sad that Capcom isn't, you know, doing some of these ideas, but at the same time, I'm happy this was made, period. Yeah. I'm an optimistic gamer. I'm not somebody who, you know, other than if it involves Call of Duty, then yeah. it can go suck it. I'm you sure know. if uh, Platinum Games had the rights to Mega Man, they would have made something like this a long time ago. Oh, yes. And you got a perfect on him. I know. Also, you want to get that... You want to keep on going forward even after he falls to the floor, so that way you can catch that E-Tank. I did not see that E-Tank. Yeah, it had to go by so fast. Now, this is actually the last proper level we're coming up, where you actually have to get to the end of a stage, and then you have to fight a boss. Now, this stage, if I recall, is infamous for being the toughest in the game it is the overall. Most, it is the most dickish level in this entire game. Oh, yes, because we'll be getting to a certain boss later. Also, it's all vertical scrolling, and you know what, Mega it's Man, not when all... you go to another... It's not all vertical well, scroll, but a it's good not portion. all. I thought, yeah, that's really? what I mean, like a good portion. Yeah, like um, more you than know, half. when you go down, if you get hit, you fall down. If you fall down, the screen resets and the enemies reset. Oh yeah, trust me, that's gonna happen. A lot. <laughs> um, now, what is the weakness of the boss coming up so that you uh, don't use it? on the way. Actually, I don't use the weakness against the boss. This is one of the few times I don't actually use the weakness because I don't think it's very safe to use the weakness. And that weakness is? I'm not going to tell you. Well, there we go. I'm going to save it as a surprise. You seem to be having a bit of trouble there. Yeah, because I'm actually stupid and I forgot my usual strategy to getting up this section because there's actually a much easier way to do this. Fortunately, all of your weapons reset if you die. That's nice. Yes. If you get a game over, do you um, go back to this level or do you have to do the last level again? You go back to this level. It's n The uh, game overs aren't really that dickish in this game. They don't have you go back to anything. You just have to go back to the start of the stage, which I think is a staple in the Mega Man series. Um, yes, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, although I don't think the... Um, weapons coming back. They don't do that very often. I think there's one or two that do that, but, uh, yeah, it's rare. But yeah, that's my usual trick to, uh, getting past this section without too much difficulty, using uh, Relento's grenade, and then just going through the rest of the section using, um, Crimson Viper's weapon. The Optic Blast. Stolen from Cyclops. Yeah, I know. I find that kind of weird. She uses that weapon in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Cyclops is a Marvel character, and she ends up using that move in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Do you know it was actually Marvel's decision to not put Cyclops in and not Capcom's? Really? Yep. Interesting. A lot of a lot of the character choices people blame Capcom, but it's actually a lot of Marvel's choices to promote upcoming movies, media, a lot of things that were um, gonna be, you know, like right, you might think, you know, at the time, Iron Fist, Nova, Rocket Raccoon, they're not important. Yeah. But you look later, Iron Fist and Nova appeared in the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon, ah. and Rocket Raccoon is getting a movie, The Guardians of the Galaxy, a live-action Marvel movie. Really? That's yep. Interesting. That's interesting. I do like how the this stage and well Wily stages in general, although this isn't really a Wily yeah. stage, castle stage as they call it, final rush stages, whatever. Um, they incorporate elements from every level, even if they don't make sense, like plants on sidewalks. Yeah. And I really love oh, this. Look, look, look at all these items here. It's almost like they 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 believe we can't do this or something. Yeah, I think they might have a good idea. Oh, Vega. Yes, Vega. 
this or is... as... Okay, you go ahead first. I was going to say, this is single-handedly the most dickish boss in this entire game. Even more dickish than the secret boss. That's saying something. Oh, now, yeah. something interesting that I'm sure all Street Fighter fans know is that um, the three characters of M. Bison, Vega, and Balrog actually got their names switched around due to fear of copyrights. Yeah. Now, M. Bison was actually Balrog, the boxer. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, M. Bison... M. Tyson. Yeah, I was actually going to bring that up during the Balrog fight, but we were talking too fast. Yes. But, uh, they changed that due to fear of copyright. So, now, Balrog, which is what this guy was? I, yes, Vega yeah. was, um, M. Bison's M. Bison. original name. So this guy was Balrog. Um, to stop confusion in the fighting game community, they just call him Claw. Mm. Yes. yes they, they have Claw, Dictator, and Boxer. Yeah. Now, you were actually asking me about um, his weakness. It's actually Chun-Li's kick. And if ah, you... yes. Yes, and if you actually use it on him, I believe hitting him with that instantly gets rid of his claw and his mask, which removes his... I think it lowers his defense, and it decreases his reach with the claw. Yep, and that is actually a reference to the infamous shower scene, because that's what she used when, you know, in the shower. Yeah. Well, I said the last level was the last proper level. This one is a little shorter, but I think it might be familiar to most Mega Man fans. So, I have a question. Yes. Why do you have the helmet suddenly? Um, yes. Funny story. There's actually a super secret final boss in this level, but I forgot to do the proper stuff in the last playthrough. So, this is the newer-ish playthrough where I forgot to take the helmet back off. And you didn't really seamlessly edit it, but that's fine. I mean, we're not going to lie about that. And only someone like you would notice something like that. I'm pretty sure people would notice if you all of a sudden started wearing a helmet. Eh, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that's the, um, the tropical hazard in action using the uh, jump feature. And I think you said you can do that from midair? I think. I'm not sure. I know you can do it with the Mega Ball, and I'm pretty sure you can. it is the exact same as the Mega Ball, but... So classic Mega Man players will probably recognize this as the boss rush mode. Now, like I said before, at the end of this little rush thing, there is a secret final boss. The way you fight this final boss is that uh, you have to get four perfects on the boss rush. On the regular bosses, it doesn't count. And like we said before, you don't have to actually not get hit. As long as you have full health at the end, it counts as perfect. Yes, that's where the uh, E-Tanks really come in handy. Yep. Are you going in the same order as we went to at the beginning? I think it is the same order as it was before, starting off with Chun-Li, doing Crimson Viper, etc, etc. Alright, I see you're not using her weakness, any reason? Um, I know her weakness is the Hadouken, but I don't know, I just found the Mega Buster to be just as good. It's because you, uh, it's, they're basically the same in this game. Yeah, pretty much. I thought that was a bit of a missed opportunity, I don't know. Mm, whatever. Well, actually, one thing I forgot to mention is that you notice the um, the two floating ball thingies in the boss rush room, right? Yep. You can actually hit those with a Mega Buster, and that'll give you the uh, health and weapon ammo. Is like it in every other... Is it every time you go back, or is it just... Uh... It is every time you go back. Well, that's useful. Yes. It's one thing you really need to know if you want to take on the uh, boss rush. Do you farm E-Tanks beforehand, or... Because I don't remember you having that many. Well, I actually used a special cheat code to get to the Shadowloo bosses and have four E-Tanks. That's right, because you're using the uh, version 2, you have the passwords. That yes. wasn't in version 1, and that was a lot of people were angry about that. Oh, yeah, uh, me included. On the one hand, I sort of, you know, I understood where the rage was coming from, but on the other, I, I also felt like, you know... But then it's like Mega Man 1, and everyone loves Mega Man 1, right? Yeah, I guess that's true, but eh. I guess a way to continue would have been nice. Yeah, just some way, and I, they, they did it, which is nice, you know? Yeah. It, it sort of feels like Capcom's getting better, because if this was, like, old Capcom, then it would have been, like, $4 DLC. Yeah. For the 2012 version or something. I know, that's really lame. Although there's the uh, 2013 version of Street Fighter Cross Tekken that you can get for free that supposedly plays better. 
yeah, from what I've seen, it plays amazingly better. But I yeah. actually don't have Street Fighter Cross Tekken, so I, I wouldn't I know. Well, not all of us have actual jobs. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Although, with a job means I can't make that many videos. Yeah, well, I'm still in school, so I, I really can't, period. Eh, whatever. But yeah, there's the um, Yoga Inferno's little flamethrower feature in action, where you can actually hit uh, Blanca from the air with the flamethrower. Yeah, it seems to work well that way. Yeah, it's a lot better than just standing there trying to hit him. I see you're spamming them to make sure you get the perfect. Yeah, I really want to fight this uh, optional final boss. And this was a final this optional boss added in for the uh, version 2, right? Yes, it was added in version 2. If you're playing version 1, you will not be able to fight this boss. And here we have Rose again with yep. Watermelon Weakness. Yes. I know she was introduced in the Alpha series, but was it Alpha 1, or has she always been in the Alpha series? I'm pretty sh- I want to say Alpha 2, although Alpha is easily the one I played the least, mm, which is I know like, I played none. I played Alpha 2, and I know she was in that one, but I don't know if she was in the first one. Actually, I'm lying. EX is the one I played the least. Ah. Uh, I don't think anybody's really played EX that much. If from what I've heard, there's reasons for that. Although the char some of the characters are really cool in it. Eh. But they're yeah, owned by a different company, so Capcom can't use them. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. And I think in this part we actually see Relento using his... Never mind. His super? I thought he was going to use it, but never mind. What it is is that he jumps up in the air and throws grenades down crazily. It's his yeah. uh, cross rush, is it, from the Tech Street Fighter Cross Tekken? I believe it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're back with Urien, Mr. Tidy Whitey's himself. I think it's pronounced Urien. But, well, well, I think you're pronounced stupid face. Eh, whatever. Honestly, when it comes to pronunciations for, like, really foreign names, I'm not that pedantic. Yeah, I, 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 I just, You know. I mean, look I mean, at some... Pokemon. Every single Pokemon has three or four different ways to say it. I guess that's true. And so now we just have one more boss left. The one and only himself. Ryu Hayabusa. Mm, that's not his last name. I wish it was. I think it's Toshi is his last name, if I recall. I'm not sure if I've ever heard his last name pronounced. In one of the endings, uh, I think Sakura calls him like Toshi-san or something, or somebody oh. calls him that. I know in the comics that's his official last name, mm. but um, I'm the games, I don't think I've say it, said it really. Oh well, I don't think it really matters considering it's a fighting game. No, dude, it's it's the last names are the most important matter. Oh, of course. I mean, if you don't know their last name, what are you going to address them as? Their first name? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and so you only need to get 4 perfects and you got 5 perfects, right? Yes, I'm an overachiever. Just like to go that one extra step ahead. Hmm. Now, the way you can tell if you got the secret boss is that there's actually more rain in this boss battle. The fact that there's rain in general can tell, give it away. I, th I think there's some... Yeah, well, there he is. Yes, the one, the only, Sagat. Yes, or Sagat, as people call him, and I laugh. Mm-hmm. Now, I think in terms of this boss, he just kind of spams the uh, tiger shot over and over again, and then he'll just uh, use tiger knee to leap to the other side of the field. I gotta say, this boss looks to be like the most like an actual Street Fighter match, just by how it plays out. Yeah, I guess that's kind of true. Because when you're actually fighting, like in Street Fighter, a Sagat, that's basically their strategy. Yeah, just using the tiger shot. Yep. I know I enjoy doing it when I play a Sagat. Yep, and is his weakness the Hadouken? I think it is the Hadouken, I'm not entirely sure. I know in this run it looks like he takes more damage, plus I think the charged Hadouken might be able to break through his normal tiger shots. Ah. Uh, there's the that's tiger his... uppercut. Actually, that's the uh, tiger destruction, which you oh, would know yes. if you played Street Fighter 4. I didn't play much Street Fighter 4. I wh When I got Street Fighter 4, it was for the 3DS and... You know. Yeah, I've got all, just about every version of Street Fighter 4. I've played the vanilla version, I own it on the 3DS, I own Super Street Fighter 4, and I can download um, Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition on the 3D... Bleh, uh, PS3. But do you have the iPhone version? No. Well, there you go. 
Actually, um, something interesting is this stage here is one of the most iconic Street Fighter stages. It's actually Sagat's stage. Yes. So I believe this is in Street Fighter Alpha as well. Yes. Although, oddly enough, it isn't in uh, Street Fighter 2. No, because um, the backstory of how he got his scar yeah. came from Alpha. I remember because uh, this is actually the start of the uh, Street Fighter 2 anime where you see Ryu's fight with Sagat and how he got his stuff. Bleh, how he got his scar. And now we're back to Helmetless. Yes. This is the actual proper playthrough. And now we can properly talk about the final boss of the game, M. Bison. The day he fought Mega Man was a day indeed, but for him it was Tuesday and I screwed up that quote. I think it was like, the day he fought Mega Man, Mega Man thought it was the greatest day of his life. For Bison, it was merely Tuesday. I don't think he says merely. I haven't watched Street Fighter 2, the movie, in a while. I have now, watched... in the... Yeah. Actually, talking about the boss here, he's actually much harder than he is in the version 1. I remember in version 1, I was able to mop the floor with him with the optic laser. Now he needs to take more optic lasers before he actually gets down to at least half health. Yeah, Plus I remember uh, reading the version 2 notes, and one of them was a highly... They, they wrote highly buffed M. Bison. Yes, he is definitely much harder in this version. Very appropriate considering he's the final boss. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, I was a little sad when I learned that the final boss wasn't, like, Wily wasn't involved in some way. I know, you would think story-wise Wily would be involved in some way. I was so expecting, like, Sin, you know, not, yeah, like the Sin Corporation. Oh my goodness, here comes a new challenger! Yes, the one, the only, Akuma! When I heard there was a secret boss, honestly, I knew it was going to be Akuma. We all knew it was going to be Akuma. So, I guess I should probably talk about the way he plays. Of course, he starts off with his super, the Raging Demon, which is a one-hit KO. He can also teleport, that's very annoying. He can shoot fireballs in the air, charge fireballs, he can sure you can, and he can dive kick. He's basically a harder version of Ryu. Yeah, basically. Also, he can teleport. Oh, Miss Sogi. I remember that attack. Yeah. It wouldn't be Akuma without teleportation. Now, actually, no. now that I think about it, have you ever fought Akuma? In what? In any of the Street Fighter games, because yes. he's been in like two Alpha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've never fought Akuma before? No, I have. I fought him in a uh, four. Uh oh, yeah, same here. But uh, I know that he has like harder forms. Yeah. In arcade version, like he has Oni and Shin well, Akuma, I think. Yeah, and then there's also Shin Oni, which you can fight, which is broken as crap. I've heard. Yeah, that's why he's not a playable character. No, it's. Yeah, I bet you if they do, they do do a version three. They'll probably incorporate another secret thing like this. Yeah, and I can and see. The... Hmm? I was going to say I was using his weakness, the Hadouken, but as you notice, he doesn't take that much damage to it. You got to be really fast if you want to beat him. You did a good job, I think. Um, considering this is try number five that you didn't see. You did an okay job at that, that thing. <laughs> And the thing that I should probably mention is that you'll get this ending no matter who, what final boss you fight. If you fought uh, Akuma, which you need to get four perfects to fight him, or if you fought Bison, the normal final boss. Alright. So, that's the end of the game. Yep. Short game. Um, very good for a free game. Very, yeah, very, very good. Um, I was reading on TV Tropes, apparently they said that there is a chance it'll come to other systems. And that if it does, then it will get, like, more upgrades and stuff. Hey, That's I'd really nice. I'd look forward to that, you know. Mm -hmm. I think there's, there's a lot of opportunity with this. And, um, you know, with the music, the visuals, just everything, I think it's awesome. Yeah. I said before that it was a little too easy, and I'm sticking to my guns with that one. Compared to any stage in, like, Mega Man X or any of the classic Mega Man games, this is not really hair-pulling-out-inducing. But I think it's fair. I mean, it's just a fun little game to play when you have the free time. I think it's the perfect level for getting newbies in. Because it's yeah. still that kind of... There is a little bit of, you know, hardness to it. And so they'll know that the games are kind of difficult. Mm. But then, you know, you give them Mega Man 2 and they'll have no idea what to do. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think a hard mode would have been nice. Making the bosses a little harder. Making some of the... Uh, Adding some of the classic Mega Man dickery, like spikes on the ceiling and water areas, things like that, would have been nice. Now, I remember reading that they actually were thinking of having a Street Fighter character as a secret character to play as. Um, 
I remember thinking like, oh, that'd be cool and something I'd look forward to in a ver in a version three if it ever happens. Yeah, it would have been nice to play as uh, Ken or maybe Sakura, who well, played like, kind I of mean, like Mega Man. If 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 they do put Ryu as a playable character, I mean, it wouldn't be that hard to switch out, you know, Ken for the Ryu boss. Yeah, I guess that is kind of true. So, you know, that that'd be cool. Hmm. Now there so, are some uh, secrets. Would you like to explain what some of the other ones are? No. I'm going to save that for the video description, so if you look beneath, you will see a few secret codes. One of them is actually coming up. So I want to thank you all for watching. I've been Super Cold Chaos. And I've been Tanner. And we'll be seeing you in maybe another crossover playthrough. See you later. See ya.